from weak to strong. That's how we're going to go with our storm systems across the lower 48. And we're also going from east to west because, to be honest with you, what we have over the eastern Great Lakes, even though it occupies a you know, pretty healthy uh, dose of real estate, all this is spotty and light, and it's going to mostly fizzle out as it lifts off to the northeast. So we don't get wet along that stretch of I-95. Uh, it's just farther back toward the Great Lakes, and it's less than an inch of accumulation tonight. Ah, no big deal. Now, the system that's over the uh, Dakotas on it through parts of uh, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, it's rain and the snow toward Chicagoland later tonight. The accumulating snow is pretty far north, and it's not a whole heck of a lot, to be honest with you. So, again, some slippery travel makes for some headaches, but all in all, it's no big deal. Uh, the snow by daybreak is uh, west of Lake Michigan, by the way. All right, east of the divide, wind gusts topping 40 miles an hour throughout the night. Along the coastal ranges, topping 50 miles per hour. Heavy pockets of rain here, but there's also mountain snow. Now, it's above pass level over Oregon, but not in the state of Washington, so please be careful about that. Even over some of the uh, passes over the uh, northern flank of the Clearwater Mountains to the Panhandle in Idaho, we have three to six inches of accumulation there.